Welcome to Literacy Home Learning. This is a literacy unit appropriate for children learning from home during this extended school closure. It is designed to provide learning opportunities for primary age children and will help to develop their ability within the national curriculum. This is lesson number six in the series. Please listen along, pause the video when necessary and listen out for the task appropriate for your age and ability. To be prepared for today's lesson, make sure you have something to write with and your home learning book. Follow along with the video and be sure to pause when you've been given a task to complete. You will know when to pause the video when you see the symbol in the bottom corner of the screen. Today's learning objective is to be able to write an apology letter. Time for your first quick task. With your home teacher, listen to the story and identify the characters that may need to write an apology letter. We will continue to explore the book Tyrannosaurus Drip by Julia Donaldson and David Roberts. In a swamp beside a river, where the land was thick with veg, lived a herd of duck-billed dinosaurs who roamed the water's edge. And they hooted up with rivers, and they hooted up with reeds, and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. Now across the rushy river, on a hill the other side, lived a mean Tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride. And they shouted, up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly, mean and grim, couldn't catch the duckbill dinosaurs because they couldn't swim. And they muttered, down with water, and they muttered, down with wet, and they muttered, what a shame that bridges aren't invented yet. Now a little comp Ignathus, but for short we'll call her comp, found a duck-billed egg and stole it from a nest beside the swamp. And she swam with it and ran with it and murmured clever me, and won't the baby comps be thrilled with duck-billed egg for tea? She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life from the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grisly wife. And the duck bill egg went rolling, and at last it came to rest, in, of all unlikely places, the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now the mother T had great big jaws and great enormous legs, but her brain was rather little and she couldn't count her eggs. And she sang, hatch out my terrors, with your scaly little tails, and your spiky little toothies, and your scary little nails. Out hatched babies one and two, as perfect as could be, but Mother T was horrified by baby number three. And she grumbled, he looks weedy. And she grumbled, he looks weak. And she grumbled, what long arms, and look, his mouth is like a beak. He just needs feeding up, said Dad, and gave the babes some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. And he said, I'm really sorry. And he said, I simply can't. And he said, this meat looks horrible. I'd rather eat a plant. A plant, yelled Mum in horror. And Dad said, get a grip. His sisters found a name for him, Tyrannosaurus Drip. And they shouted, up with hunting. And they shouted, up with war. And they shouted, up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along, 
But the others yelled, you silly drip, you've got the words all wrong. For he hooted, down with hunting, and he hooted, down with war, and he hooted, down with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Drip's sisters soon grew big enough to hunt with dad and mum, but they turned on Drip and told him, you're not fierce enough to come. And he cried, they're gone without me, and he cried, a lack a day, and he cried, this doesn't feel like home, I'm going to run away. So he ran off to the river, where he saw a lovely sight, a herd of duck-billed dinosaurs, all hooting with delight. And they hooted, up with rivers, and they hooted, up with reeds, and they hooted, up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. As he stood there on the bank, a sudden urge took hold of him, and he jumped into the water and discovered he could swim. And the duckbills came to greet him by the rushy river's edge. And they hooted, nice to see you. And they hooted, have some veg. Then he gazed into the river and he asked them, who, oh who, is that creature in the water? And they laughed and said, it's you. That night the lightning crackled and a storm blew down a tree and it fell across the river and the tees cried out yippee and they shouted up with hunting and they shouted up with war and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur drip sisters stepped onto the bridge but then began to frown for there in front of them stood drip who yelled, look out, look down. And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp. And one cried, water monster. And the other one cried, help. Their mother scolded, nonsense. And she joined them on the tree. Then she looked into the water, and exclaimed, good gracious me. The three of them stood trembling, and Dad said, get a grip. You're all as you as drippy as Tyrannosaurus drip. He strolled onto the bridge and scoffed. I bet there's nothing there. Then he looked into the water. And he jumped into the air. And how the duckbills hooted when he landed with a crash. And the tree bridge broke. And four Tyrannosauruses went splash and spluttering and clinging to the branches of the tree they went whooshing down a waterfall and all the way to sea and the duckbills hooted happily they hooted hip 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 hooray for the heroic one and only duckbill drip here's a quick recap of what your quick task was with your home teacher listen to the story and identify the characters that may need to write an apology letter. We thought the Tyrannosaurus Rex family would need to write an apology letter because of the way they treated the duckbill dinosaurs. And we also thought the Compsognathus would have to write an apology letter because he stole the egg and ran away. When writing a letter of apology, we don't want to use the same word to apologise. A synonym is a word with the same meaning or nearly the same meaning as another. Here's a quick task. In your home learning book, create a mind map with the word sorry in the middle. And around the outside, find as many different synonyms for this word. Here are the synonyms we thought of. Regretful, remorseful, repentant, apologetic. Before writing your letter, it is important to plan what you are going to say. In your letter, we expect you to include a greeting, an introduction explaining what you are apologising for, 
an apology. What it is you will do to make up for what you have done. What you will stop doing to make up for what you have done. And a closing. When writing a letter, it's important to use the correct layout. First, in the top right hand corner, you would have the sender's address. This will be the character who is writing the apology. Underneath this, you will have the date the letter is written. On the left hand side of the page, you would have the recipient's address. This will be the duck billed dinosaur. Below this, on a line on its own, you will have the greeting. Below this would then be the main body of the letter. This would be the apology. And finally, you would have a closing farewell. So who will you choose? Will you write a letter from the Tyrannosaurus Rex family or from the Compsognathus? Time for your next quick task. In your home learning book, plan what you are going to say in your letter using the success criteria below. You will need a greeting, an introduction explaining what you are apologising for, an apology, what you will do to make up for what you have done, what you will stop doing to make up for what you have done, and a closing. Year 1 and 2, here's your main task. In your home learning book, use your plan to write a letter that apologises for what your chosen character did. Make sure you use the letter layout to support your learning. Year 3 and 4, here's your main task. In your home learning book, use your plan to write a letter that apologises for what your character did. Use conjunctions to express cause when explaining why you are sorry and how you will change. Also remember to use the correct letter layout to support your learning. And finally, Year 5 and 6. In your home learning book, use your plan to write a letter that apologises for what your chosen character did. Use conjunctions to express cause when explaining why you are sorry and how you will change. Can you then write a response to the letter, either accepting or declining the apology, giving reasons for your choice? Both letters must follow the correct layout. So how have you done? Time to share your work with the class. Read your work out to your home teacher, but don't forget to check for spelling and punctuation mistakes first. Well done everybody, that's the end of lesson 6. Be sure to join us again in the next lesson.